Hey guys and welcome to another DVD, Blu-ray and CD update for Anzac Day 2022. Here I've got 8 DVDs, 5 Blu-rays and 2 CDs. Plus I'm going to be covering something extra at the very end of this video, so keep your eyes open. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the DVDs. And the first DVD I've got is America's National Parks. The catalogue number is QD3413. Here's the front, spine, no profile picture, and the back. Here's disc 1. And disc 2. And the next DVD I've got is The Desert Fox, starring James Mason, Cedric Hardwick, and Jessica Tandy. The catalogue number is 1014SDW. Here's the front, spine, profile picture of Erwin Rommel, and the back. This originally came out in 1951. Here's the disc. And that's the inlay, which shows the scene selections and a tank. And the next DVD I've got is The Blue Max, starring George Peppard and Ursula Andres. The catalogue number is 1062SDW. Here's the front, spine, profile picture of Bruno Stachel, and the back. This originally came out in 1966. Here's the disc. Now for some reason, I don't know what the new MI rating is doing on the disc. And that's the inlay, which shows the scene selections of Plane and Two Men. Apologies about that, I just had to do something really quickly. So anyways, let's continue. The next DVD I've got is Top Gear Winter Olympics and it's rated PG and contains mild coarse language and mild sexual references. The catalogue number is BO1171-9. Here's the front, spine, no profile picture, and the back. Here's the disc. Inside on the left there's some pictures as well as some chapter points, and on the right there's another Top Gear DVD available to buy. And the next DVD I've got is Nick of Time starring Johnny Depp. And I know LJ ES2 2004 has got this. 19 minutes, 6 bullets, no choice. And it's rated M and contains meme level violence and meme level coarse language. The catalog number is DVD 5203. Here's the front, spine, profile picture of Gene Watson, and the back. This originally came out in 1995. Here's the disc. And that's the inlay, which shows some pictures from the movie as well as the scene selections on the left and on the right, the same thing as the front cover. And the next DVD I've got is Russell Peters Red, White and Brown, and it's rated M and contains frequent coarse language. The catalogue number is BHE3253. Here's the front, spine, profile picture of Russell Peters, and the back. Here's the disc. And the next DVD I've got is Triple J's Hottest 100 Volume 14, and it's rated M and contains infrequent, moderate course language. The catalogue number is 510118752. Here's the front, spine, no profile picture, and the back. This will be my only ABC Music DVD until further notice. Here's the disc, and it comes with a booklet which I won't be showing you. And that's the inlay. And the last DVD I've got is Homeroom, aka The Heart of America, starring Jurgen Prochnow, Will Sanderson, Patrick Muldoon, and Michael Parry. When pushed too far, the victims of violence seek revenge! And it's rated MA15 Plus and contains medium level violence, medium level coarse language, and drug use. The catalogue number is 10455. Here's the front, spine, profile pictures of Dara and Dara, and the back. This originally came out in 2002. Here's the disc, and that's the inlay which shows Dara as well as the chapters on the left. And on the right there's other tiles available from Flashback Entertainment available to buy. Now that we've covered the DVDs, it's time to cover the Blu-rays, and the first Blu-ray I've got is Murder on the Orient Express, and it's rated PG and contains mild themes and coarse language. The catalogue number is BD94537. Here's the front, spine, no profile picture, and the back. This originally came out in 1974. Universal Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Here's the disc. And the next Blu-ray I've got is Space Cowboy, starring Clint Eastwood, Tommy Lee Jones, Donald Sutherland, and James Gardner. And it's rated PG and contains low-level course language and adult themes. The catalog number is R-103134-8. Here's the front, spine, no profile picture, and the back. This originally came out in 2000, and it's a Warner Bros. Pictures movie co-produced by Village Roadshow Pictures. 
Here's the disc. And the next Blu-ray I've got is Tony Robinson Explores Australia. And it's a two disc set and it's rated PG and contains mild themes and infrequent coarse language. The catalog number is BD13894. Here's the front, spine, profile picture of a kangaroo sign, and the back. Here's disc one and disc two. And the next Blu-ray I've got is Mission Impossible 2 starring Tom Cruise. And I know LJ EST 2004 used to have this movie on DVD, but as of now, he's upgraded to Blu-ray. And it's rated M and contains medium low violence. The catalog number is AUPBD 3810. Here's the front, spine, no profile picture, and the back. This originally came out in 2000. Here's the disc. And the last Blu-ray I've got is the two disc collector's edition of the social network and it's rated M and contains coarse language. Here's the front, spine, no profile picture, and the back. This originally came out in 2010. This disc is for the film and the other ones for the supplements. And now we're moving on to the CDs and the first CD I've got is REM Green and the catalog number for this one is 0888072004061. Here's the front, spine, the other spine, and the back. And here are the songs. Here's the CD. And the last CD I've got is The Police. And the catalog number is 1736143. Here's the front, spine, the other spine, and the back. And here are the songs. Here's CD1 and CD2. Bet you thought this video has ended, but unfortunately it hasn't because I'm going to be showing you the extra item as promised. So anyways, let's start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hooray! This is a giant classic Amy plush from the video game Sonic CD. She wears white gloves, white shoes, a green shirt, and an orange skirt. So anyways, that was my DVD, Blu-ray, and CD update for Anzac Day 2022. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and smack that notification bell when a new video pops up. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye everyone. Happy Anzac Day.